Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you found yourself in the EEA in one of those regions, just to let you know that Microsoft now has announced changes in Windows to now comply with the Digital Markets Act in the European Economic Area. So if you do find yourself in one of those regions, just a video to update you if you would be interested regarding a couple of these changes. Now, Microsoft say they have released the November 2023 non-security preview update for Windows 11 version 23H2 to the release preview channel, which, by the way, we will take a look at that build later today. And this new build in the release preview channel, they say previews many of the changes they are making to Windows 11 to meet these obligations. Now, when it comes to Windows 10, Microsoft say they will be previewing changes for Windows 10 in the release preview channel at a later date. So that's um, these changes are only affecting Windows 11 at this stage and not Windows 10. So just take note of that. So just to go through a couple of uh, these changes in Windows that Microsoft now is rolling out to comply with the Digital Markets Act in the EEA. Now the first is um, Windows will clearly identify operating system functionality in places like settings, start and search. Now, if we head over to our search, as many of you may know by now, um, and this first one is already available uh, in a couple of areas already in the stable version of 23H2. Um, so if we head down to our system components, we now get system co components that will now show notable operating system components in this actual page now to identify those as such and not normal apps. And then if we head to the start menu, all apps, the same applies. So File Explorer, Get Help, Game Bar, Get Started, and so on. System components are all labeled accordingly. And in that latest preview build, um, the search now, under search, search results will show operating system components labeled with system. Then moving on to the next category that Microsoft now uh, is changing to comply with uh, the Digital Markets Act in the EEA. Um, all apps in Windows can be uninstalled. And some of these are already available in the stable version. So as an example, camera can be uninstalled. Cortana can be uninstalled. Uh, if we scroll down to photos, just to give you a general idea, um, photos can be uninstalled. And then the two new ones to comply um, are web search from Microsoft Bing in the EEA can now be uninstalled and Microsoft Edge in the EEA can now be uninstalled. And I think uninstalling Microsoft Edge for a lot of users, I think, would be a nice move in the right direction. Now, moving on to the next category, and Microsoft says there's now more interoperability points in Windows that are now available. And they mentioned that these new interoperability points also use an app-based model, and the benefits, these benefits, benefits the app, the app developer, and the customer. So there's three areas it benefits app, app developer, and customer. And they say that in the EEA, two new interoperability points are available. So if we just head over to one of two screenshots provided to give us a general idea. The first is f feeds in the widgets board and web search in Windows Search. Now this first screenshot we're having a look at is an example of new interoperability points for web search. And then moving on to the next, uh, this uh, screenshot is an example of the new interoperability point for widgets. And then just to mention uh, the next um, category to comply, uh, this is regarding Microsoft account data. So in the EEA, Windows will ask users, Microsoft says, if they want to sync their Microsoft account with Windows so that Windows data is available on their other Windows devices and in Microsoft products that users sign into. And then another category they are now uh, change into comply is regarding the default apps which can be found apps on the apps page and default apps microsoft says windows will continue to prompt customers when they are opening content that a newly installed app registers for so they can easily change their default customers can continue to easily microsoft says configure app defaults in settings apps default apps on this page so that's the next category and then the final category uh, regarding that announcement to now comply with that Digital Markets Act in the EEA is uh, regarding European Economic 
area PCs. And I'm just going to mention this. Microsoft says, as noted above, some functionality is now available in the EEA. Windows uses the region chosen by the customer during device setup to identify if the PC is in the EEA. Once chosen in device setup, the region used for DMA compliance can only be changed by resetting the PC. So just take note of that. That's an important point. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Just a couple of categories now where Microsoft has made some changes in Windows to comply with the Digital Markets Act in the European Economic Area. And I know there are a couple of viewers of this channel who do find themselves in some of those regions in the EEA and just wanted to bring this to your attention if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.